Hello and welcome to the Science Fury. In this video I will show how to build a high voltage transformer. At the end my transformer has not that of a high voltage because this is just a test for a way bigger transformer that I will build in the future. For the transformer you need a core and I'm using a core from a flyback transformer because I want to drive it with my flyback driver. Of course you could just use the original coil of the flyback transformer, however the flyback transformer is rectified internally and has some other windings that take up space. So if you use thinner wire it could be possible to get more windings onto the secondary side and get a higher voltage than the original transformer. I started by wrapping some paper around the core and I used that as a form for my secondary windings. Later I used baking paper because this is supposed to be better as a transformer isolation. To wind the coil I used the winding machine from my generator video. But I would recommend to put a motor on this thing if you make thousands of windings. Before and after winding the coil I used a bit of glue so the coil is not unwinding and I used 200 windings per layer and left one centimeter space on the sides so it's not arcing over. The windings I insulated by three layers of baking paper but depending on the voltage two layers of baking paper should be fine as well. Like said I ran out of wire and I only had 3500 windings at the end but I continued with it because this small transformer is just a test. Then I put the secondary coil on the transformer core and on the other side I have a feedback coil with four windings and a primary coil with five windings. I will later use a flyback driver for the transformer and it's very easy to find it on the internet. But before firing up the transformer I had to put it into paraffin oil to prevent arc over. For that I got an airtight box and drilled four holes for the primary side and two holes for the secondary side into the lid. Through them I can stuck some screws and they have some rubber to seal the holes. I then put some more flexible wires on the primary side, put them on the screws and screwed them in. I then filled the container with paraffin oil and sucked the air out but the container wasn't 100% tight so it bubbled a bit through the holes where the screws are. But this gets all the air out that's trapped in the secondary coil. And then I was done and put it on the flyback driver. Like said it's not that high of a voltage because it only has 3500 windings but if someone wants to try it out and make more windings on it then feel free to do this and maybe report in the comments what results you got. But the voltage is definitely enough for some gas discharge tubes. Okay that's it. Like said I'm building a much much bigger transformer with more voltage and more current as well. And if you don't want to miss that then subscribe for more science projects. Until next time. Bye.